Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Get you out of here. What? Who are you? Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse. We're over here. No way, no way. You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now. This way. And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! <laughs> Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We just need to get them moving faster! Bingo! Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I look. Everyone, follow me. <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome. Axel, stop backseat steering. I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us. No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it!
You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me! Magnus! Old friend. Don't you recognize us? It's Soren. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie, for a second I... Almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! All I know is she'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. In fact, she'd tell us that we had to. <laughs> You're right, she would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? Soren, none of this is Jesse's fault. Who cares whose fault it is? The command block is still out there. Now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. So, is the command block controlling all three weather storms? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? 
<sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey! It's okay! Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know! And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Petra, how are you doing? You look terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. But if I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear. But you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? <sighs> Don't think so. <sighs> Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You're right, they do need you. The best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right, but it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. He's a member of the Order of the Stone. The Order of the what now? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Hmm. How do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but... Are you kidding me? You're both in the Order. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were, how you got together, anything. 
Well, we came together because we'd love to explore. And we split apart because, well, uh, that's a long story. But in between, it was like we were invincible. Man, those were the days. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Man, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! on me like that, okay? I don't want to lose you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. Soren, I did that by locking the command. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet, so if we take the amulet 
back to your fortress where the Endermen are? Yes. Yes, that's it. We'll lead them straight into a massive trap. If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. We need to get out of here right now. Ivor says that if we don't, that thing will... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is, we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Too much further. Right? No, not 
too much longer. My rear end is profoundly sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl and noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions.
see you later, you nasty old thing. <gasps> oh no, skeletons! <laughs> Witches and skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. The Far Lands are just past the swamp. But they've seen us. They'll just follow us. The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Lost them for. Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh, wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. But at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Farlands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Caught the vines!
Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Uh... Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. That must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. Safe to say, the Farlands are strange. <laughs> 